Household Name Entertainment in conjunction with Strange Brew Media Group presents Moonlight Media Music TV where the independent artists bring new music to light. Erica Minor Wasteland PG Reggie Shorter Mickey Tuff Gordon Bromhall Tony Gentry Craig and Nikki Coleman The Banshees Shamor Priscilla the Outlaw and St. James hosting Music Marvel. Your host. Hello everyone. I am Jamal Jupiter and thanks for joining us tonight. The first segment is our rising artists and this is where we showcase the entertainers of the future. Our first artist is a small town gal from Plainfield, Illinois great amazing abilities for singing and songwriting, lovely melodies for the ears and the soul. Performing her tune, Stay Away. This is Erica Minor. Are you gonna do? It 
Hardcore, uninhibited, and everything else. Unapologetic for being in a class of their own and standing alone. I'm talking about Wasteland and their hot video, Turning Point. Shout out to Big Duffel ENT. Now this artist is a busy dude, writing and entertaining amongst other great things. 
spitting fire and releasing levels of wordplay, understanding every word he say. Show some love for PG performing next move. Trying to do, bro. Man, I'm really just trying to figure out my next move, man. Real shit, man. Shit fucked up and shit. Yo, nigga, man, look, bro, I got this for you, bro. Okay, okay. Say, nigga, grind all day, all night, nigga. Why like forever, say? Uh huh, no, uh huh, no, bro. Uh huh, no. Gang shit. Yeah. What we say? We on our next move. Okay. Yeah. Tell him. I'm a head shark in my bedroom. New 2020 whip, got leg room. Tryna make a hundred thousand off my next move. My next move. This ain't checkers, bitch. This chest, so what's your next move? What's your next move? I'm a head shark in my bedroom. New 2020 whip, got leg room. Tryna make a hundred thousand off my next move. My next move. This ain't checkers, bitch. This chest, so what's your next move? What's your next PG. move? We motivated to the shit. I would never ever quit. Yeah. Promised on my soul, on my mama. I never quit. Motivated, dedicated. From your hate, we graduate. Blew up on them, now they hate it Sit back and evaluate it Cooking up another hit, my money stacking mighty thick We be on some major shit, everybody fuck with it They waiting for my next drop They know PG gon' make it hot with a hundred million hits on stock like Kobe I'm just taking shots, release the kids cause gleaming not Hit us lined up on the block, put my music on the map Making money while we chop, we started now we running left How look since we do his ass, savage life we living in yeah. Dipped in riches, dipped in cash, watch me swerve up on that yeah Pistol loaded on the deck, with the game we making bands I pull up with a new jazz, fucking with the Rari Red Music stirring in my brain, making hits right out the frame And everybody know the game, they say my verses in like fame With a heart piece made of bloody stain, no PG gon' bleed this thing yeah. I'm a head shark in my bedroom New 2020 whip, got leg room Tryna make a hundred thousand off my next move. My next move. This ain't checkers, bitch. This chest. So what's your next move? What's your next move. I'm a head shark in my bedroom. New 2020 whip, got leg room. Tryna make a hundred thousand off my next move. My next move. This ain't checkers, bitch. This chest. So what's your next move? What's your next move. Yeah. What we say? We on the next level, man. Tonight. We want to shine the light on Reggie Shorter, a true comic to the heart, making you cry laughing and frown upside down gasping, bringing the world joy in a time of turmoil and chaos. Reggie is undeniably a comics comedian from Flappers Comedy Club to Improv Grapes of Laugh Live comedy shows and so many others. Reggie has shown up and showed out on many platforms. A genius at comedy sketches and skits. Born Reggie Shorter, 1977, July 31st, the youngest of three boys raised in Milpitas. Playing sports, but could always crack you up. Reggie Shorter has always been a small town kid with big dreams and country is hell by heart. So watch Reggie now in action. As I play this clip. Come on! Get it in. Ready to show a comedian. Now, my plan is I'm going to hit the, I'm going to do the spoof song after I do my intro. And if it runs to all together, I'm going to get it all together. So, you know what I'm saying? We up in here trying to get it in, man. You know what I'm saying? Like my third, what's up, boy? What's going on, Remy? One more time, Reggie, man. Remy, there you go. Let's meet you. How you doing? Yeah. 
do my comedy thing, do some rapping. I ain't never rapped before. You know what I mean? I got, but I mean, you know, one of them niggas. You know, I feel like my comedians. I can fuck up on the rap. It's okay, y'all think it's funny, but nigga, I be really trying. Why do that? Like sits in his house, like really trying hard. <laughs> And they can his own section call, I'm trying. I knew when I bust around some niggas that was black, I mean, and they didn't respond, that's why I knew I had to get high to get up for it. <laughs> nigga get real high rap to himself. Nigga, you know, doing this is, uh, if you only talk to you and your friend, you need to stop. That's why I see, I, I hung it up quick. I, 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 I knew. <laughs> God be my niche, you know, I be like, I've been putting my own motherfucking life, you know. Even through trash, through the rain and the pain, nigga, you know what I'm saying? I feel this way, you know, I lost my, my grandfather, my mom, my dad, you know, all at the same time, you know. And this is the way I really keep it keep it lit, you know. My dad, my dad's voice. If you see, you're gonna hear it tonight. My dad, my mom's voice, my grandfather. We got spank. No fucking bullshit timeout, no shit like that. You know? I got the shit knocked out, you know. Y'all, we got whoop, bro. I mean, come on now. That's, that's the age I come. My grandma used to whoop us before we got in the church, you know what I'm saying? Whatever happened. You know, ain't even get smacked on the hip on the face before we even get inside some shit. Just no matter where, where you go, where you sit, you're gonna get a smack. My grandma's like, oh, man, you're gonna grab you on your ear and see where you're gonna go. Let's smack you before you get it in your hand like that. You know, you gotta think about it, boy. You know, y'all don't know about church like we know, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about like the 4 o'clock a.m. service, 10 o'clock service, the 2 o'clock service, and the service service. The one that you about to go to sleep, you got your sleep clothes on the TV stand. <laughs> I'm saying, my motherfucker go out there, fuck up, and come, come, in, come in the damn church on Sunday. You clubbing from Saturday and going in there with your club clothes on Sunday. You should be slapping your fucking face. 10%, nigga, you got change from when you bought that drink. I know you got 10%, nigga. Put in the goddamn tray. <laughs> Stop bullshit, okay? You bought drinks, you bought Long Island, you got 10% for the Lord. No fuck around, something happened to your car. Jesus don't drive no Cadillac. So that's why we got eight offerings. You know what church you go to, I'm not even gonna say what church is, but you know you're wrong, y'all got minimums on side of the bucket. God ain't got no minimum, man. You just have to do what you put in there, man. Don't put a minimum of $20, you know what church that is. <laughs>
only me that was my security. <laughs> oh no, that was you, bro. That's on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, we got you getting robbed in slow motion, nigga. <laughs> ah! Too, too bad. <laughs> nigga, you too old. That's what the problem is. That nigga figured the old, bro. You know what I'm saying? What's that Tupac person, nigga? All you old rappers trying to advance, it's all over now, taking like a man. Ooh. Nigga, you picked up the microphone at 50. God damn, nigga, are you serious right now? The fuck are you rapping about? That nigga popping old bottles and shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Big boy, big booty girl, this nigga talking about his kids and shit, nigga. You know you old, nigga. You going to be playing with your kids. Talking about that bullshit. I think we should whip our kids. Can I get a bottle for that? Somebody slap them on our ass. Slap them. Whoop, whoop your kids. Whoop your kids. Whoop your kids. Oh, shit. Motherfuckers don't listen to no time out. Shit, that just give me time to think about some more fucked up stuff to do. <laughs> <laughs> That's that white right side, you know what I'm saying? That's the other side. It's time! I be over there thinking of a master plan in this bitch. Tell you, boy, if I was like a like five years, I'd be tearing all this shit down. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm gonna smack a unicorn on the ass a little bit, you know what I'm saying? I'll be able to fuck this fucker. That's what I'm talking about right here. I mean, I'm really fucking serious, I'm mean, saying? Got a solid little ass, I see it ain't moving. Uh, I put another shoe on that motherfucker since last time when I was drunk. I can't fuck with that. Ah, shit, that was something else. Hell yeah, boy, you know what I'm saying? Because you gotta think about these kids, not only are they smart, they bigger and stronger than you, bruh. So don't get embarrassed by your kid. I had my five year old the other day, he's not getting on my fucking ass and felt stupid for the whole bunch of people. I said, come here, boy! Come here, boy! That nigga ran at me while I was speeding, nigga, I fell off the shit, see, I'm gonna fuck around, I fell right there. <laughs> I said, don't be touching me like that, boy. Don't be touching me. Damn, I'm shattering. Shit. I'm like, nigga, what's wrong with you? I said, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? And we all got that friend that can't fight, but let's start some shit. But where you at? Where you at? Aw, oh, shit. When they do something, that nigga say, wait till we go way down the street and say something, damn it. That's so fucked up. You a bitch. Nigga, we be way down the street. <laughs> but if you was here, shit in your face, shot and shit in your face. <laughs> nigga, you know what I'm saying? That nigga shit we ain't never heard of. Nigga, apricot, nigga, apricot. Fruits on mine, nigga. What you wanna do something, do something, nigga. On mine. Fucking crazy, man, you know what I'm saying? Working customer service, nigga, like mind day slavery. <laughs> I ain't never had motherfuckers have to smoke fucked up shit before in their life, boy. Can I get some water? Bitch, we don't sell water here. What the fuck? Water. You know what I'm saying? Well, I ain't gonna lie, bro. My best customer, bro. Indian people, love Indian people, clap. Indian people in the house. Oh, I can tap on you, and you ain't here. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, we'll have a sympathy thing. Like, yeah, I'm a corner, I'm a corner. I'm a corner, ain't rap now. It's good, it's good. I can talk about y'all. Y'all the meanest motherfuckers on this planet, man. I'll keep that out there right now. You the meanest motherfuckers on this planet, boy. And don't give a fuck. At least I'll go to the side and talk about you. They talk about you right in front of your face. Fuck you, Reggie. Fuck you. Sackle me, sickle me, sackle me, sickle me, sickle me, sickle me, sickle me, sickle me, sickle me, What? Sickle me, 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 But they pay a lot to see what the fuck is going on in this motherfucker, boy. Shit. Shit, let me cheat. I'm like, boys, man. This motherfucker tell me fucking with their kids. They come to my store, like, hey. She's like, I'm for real. My daddy do be tripping. I'm like, I knew you knew what I said. I said, shit, 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 Motherfuckers. I told him, I said, motherfuckers, it's 9 11 to the day with just a bad ass drug deal. Fuck the dumb. Yeah, motherfucker, it's the paper on that. It's real motherfucking thing. I'm so good. Alright, what's up with it, man? That's a good one. Shit, yeah, man, we up in this motherfucker. Yeah, man, beat your kids. Look, I'm spanking the beat. Like you said, beat your kids. You know what I'm saying? I screw a motherfucker. I faint, nigga. Fuck it. My dad can come. My dad, 6'5, nigga. Hit this nigga. I fall asleep, nigga. Who are you sitting? He ain't gonna hit me here on my eyes. He ain't gonna hit me here. What the fuck is wrong with you, boy? Shit, my parents from the country, but you know that, bro, we grow our own shit. Fuck the devil, I make my own sausage egg and muffin this bitch. Make my own sausage and everything. Make muffin, you ain't even gonna make muffin maize. This is a make muffin tree. You just grind a big tree. Boy, the motherfucker make muffin tree. I'm a fucking 
That's what the fuck is gonna be right there. Yeah, it must be tricky, bitch. I'll never forget, nigga. I went to the country niggas out there. Never sweet blue with the guy in the early in the motherfucking morning. My grandpa was like, are you ready? I said, yeah, it's ready to do what? Milk and cows and shit? You fucking kidding me, boy? I'm from California. What is 7-Eleven in this bitch? <laughs> Milk and the cow. I don't even like nipple like that, shit. I mean, slippery like that. I love my girl. Oh, I'll take you guys to rap right there, watch it. I'm out some nipples there, watch out now. Hell yeah. Okay. Hell yeah, man. I was gonna say, man, everybody came and got your drinks, everybody feeling good. That's good. You know what I'm saying? I laughed, I laughed, everything. I'll be calling me some names, I'll meet you outside. I can't fight, but you better watch that. I'll throw something at you. I'll win them niggas. I got a black belt and nothing. You know what I'm saying? What I'm gonna do is gonna pull out a license like it don't mean something. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna do something to you tomorrow. Watch this. Boy, you know you fat when you gotta fight motherfucking like days and shit. I'll meet you on Monday and Tuesday. Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh man, dude, this has been a great time. This is my first, this is my uh, third time. This nigga drops here the first time. This is my third time being up here. A little smack on the unicorn ass one time. That's right, right there. That's, <laughs> it. That's like when the booty cups, you know what I'm saying? I know y'all see the commercial for the booty cups, motherfucker. Calm down. Buying booty cup. Bitch, just do you some squats, you'll be alright. <laughs> you don't need a plastic ass to compress your man. Man, you got ass in the club. It's 2 o'clock in the morning and it's skin. God damn. Alright, man, y'all been good. Thank you so much. Welcome to our Artist Unplugged segment, where we bring you the heart and rawness of the music. Stripped down, organic singer, songwriters, musicians with a strong passion for the art and love of music. Starting with the awesome reggae sounds of Mikey Tuff and the Friendly Fire Band. Followed by the amazing acoustic sounds of Gordon Bramhall. And topping it off with the legendary Tony Gentry covering the incredible Al Green tune, Simply Beautiful. Let's get into it. People are afraid, they are petrified. It have them lock up in a them house, them don't want to go outside. All of the clubs and pubs locked down, I can't even dance to my champion sound, but I stay strong. Ready for self-isolation, Sean, Sean. Now we under attack, drones come out of space. So if you're going out, put gloves on, put a mask over your face. Me all I wrap up my dreadlocks and bring my cleansing cream with me. Maintain a good personal hygiene and stay three meters away from me. So I say go straight out the door, coronavirus. You're not welcome anymore Were you the one who tried to make me lay down and die? You think I'd grumble? You think I'd lay down and cry? I will survive I will survive Just as long as I know how to live I know I'll stay alive Clean out your house, good disinfect and sterilize I've got my silly bank, the mistress and my beer on by my side Hope and pray the NHS don't fall apart Big up the doctors and the nurses, we keep them in our thoughts All those hours that them working just to keep people alive Maximum respect due to all of you My heart is full of pride, now you see me Me say respect you I'm not that selfish person in that supermarket queue so if you feel like pushing past vulnerable people and I see all that anger that's inside You don't want to upset me so I say go straight out the door Coronavirus, mm -hmm. you're not welcome anymore Were you the one who tried to hurt me with your lies? You think I'd grumble? You think I'd lay down and cry? Oh no, not I I will survive as long as I know how to live, I know I will survive, people. 
clean out your house, good disinfectant, sterilize, I've got my silly bang, domestics and my beer on by my side. So if just like me, you have lost good friends, and you don't know if it's corona or government and murder them, hello? One thing I know, just make sure you not end up in a hospital. Me not go make no doctor joke me. Me not take no vaccination. So I say go straight out the door. Coronavirus, you're not welcome anymore. People, clean out your house good. Disinfect and sterilize. I've got my silly bang. Domestics and my bear on by my side. Now they say that domestic abuse is on the increase. Because of all them dirty liars and them bedroom cheats True lockdown, them can't sneak out And their lover is all alone So they keep texting, sending messages To your mobile phone, your partner find out And them get vexed Them sip your naked picture worse than that Them read them intimate texts Oh! But just like Shaggy, you tell them, no, it wasn't me. No, you see all this corona causing your misery. So she say, go, sleep on the floor. As far as she's concerned, you're not going to get her zoom zoom anymore. She treat you good, she treat you like a king and a man. And just because you couldn't keep your little something in your pants. So I say, go, straight out the door. Coronavirus, you're not welcome anymore. Were you the one who tried to make me lay down and die? You think I'd crumble? You think I'd lay down and die? No, to all those shopkeepers who are going to thief. What was one pound ninety nine is three pound forty five this week. Oh. Now let me send out a little warning to all of them. I will send for all my friends to vote your things and share with them. Hi guys, it's Gord here. I got a new song for you. This one's called Don't Be Sad Now Love Is Gone. <laughs>
。Hey everyone, new vlog today, so uh, it's Friday, and uh, I want to welcome all the new viewers, and I want to welcome all the new viewers from uh, my high school, uh, Mannheim American High School, yeah, we, uh, that was a high school in Germany. And uh, welcome all the new people uh, to the vlog today. Um, and of course, always thank you so much to everyone for all their support and watching the, you know, the vlog and, and uh, you know, hearing my story. So um, today's story, I'm kind of doing this in uh, chronological order. Uh, more of my life uh, from year to year, not every year, obviously, but year to year. And uh, 
going to be having some of those insights of the early days and lots of chapters to share so uh, like I said on my uh, on my space um, I got eight done already so they're those short chapters like I said about five minutes long so not to bore you guys so uh, it's going to take obviously through uh, the Manheim, Amer Manheim American High School years so a shout out to those guys um, that was in Germany uh, also we're going to be doing the college years my touring stuff and up to my current life so I hope you all enjoy the journey so anyway so we're going to start uh, this is uh, this chapter is about my mother and it's uh, year 1961 and this is chapter three so the memories I had of my mom or during this time were, were mostly pretty happy um, I lived with my grandparents and then uh, lived with my mom for uh, a short time during that time so um, the only really bad thing that happened that I can remember was uh, my early childhood um, I think it was about four years old and my mother and I um, had a minor car accident um, in uh, Petersburg Virginia uh, basically what happened is that my mother had a small sports car and it was called a Renault or Renault Renault Dauphine and that uh, car was built in France, so it was a pretty small car, um, about the size of a Fiat. So we were driving uh, on a rainy night, uh, and I think what must have happened was that she uh, hit a patch of rain or a slick, slick road, and uh, the car sp spun out of, uh, out of control, and we landed in a ditch. And I remember... Uh, the ace card, eight card coming, and all that kind of stuff. So that was kind of a uh, a brief memory, and and uh, from that moment, I think on some level, my mom and I kind of bonded uh, from that point. So um, so my mother, her full name is Dora Cornelia Granby. Uh, I told you a little bit about her in the first couple chapters, but she was in nursing school and she commuted back and forth from Eaton North Carolina to, uh, to New York, uh, to school, nursing school in New York. And she would come home every weekend to see me. And uh, one of the, the sad times uh, during that time was that uh, every Sunday around four o'clock, uh, she would you know, have to say goodbye because she'd need to take the bus back up to nursing school, you know, back up to the Big Apple. <laughs> so, um, and you know, Thinking back, I really, I really hated Sundays a lot. Um, and the worst part about Sundays was, you know, remembering her leaving. Um, basically, she would uh, just give me a great big hug and say, you know, be a good boy now and, and you know, listen to your grandparents and, you know, I'll see you next week. Um, and I don't really remember uh, how long she was gone because I was a young child, but you know, to a young child, the memory is, is forever. So it seemed like forever from week to week when I would see her. You know, like I said, Sunday was really, really bad for me. Um, and a little bit of uh, personal note, uh, you know, from that, from that time, I feel like I still do have some abandonment issues. Um, and it's sort of reared its ugly head in some of my relationships. So. Sorry for all those <laughs> people that got sucked up in that, but you know, I guess that's a, a childhood thing that kind of never really leaves you. Um, but on the on the bright side, maybe uh, you know, with the guitar, that that guitar, the guitar coming to my life gave me a place to go, um, gave me something to love and and something I knew in my in my heart that would would never leave me. And you know, obviously. It hasn't, you know, over, you know, this many, many years. So, um, so shifting gears a little bit, my first uh, actual live performance was when I was about five years old. And I was doing a classroom talent show in, in Edenton. And uh, there was a show back then. It was, it was a cartoon show, but it was, remember the cartoon shows where, you know, all the, there was, it was kind of like uh, there were, um, not animated, but sort of uh, 
the, the sticks, the figurines, <laughs> I can't remember what it was, but they were kind of real jerky, but uh, it was called, it was, so the show was called uh, Fireball XL5, and it had a really, you know, poppy uh, song to open up, and, and so that song really stuck in my head, so that was a song, you know, I did, you know, Fireball, do 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 Fireball, do 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 you know, that kind of thing, <laughs> real poppy song, and so that, that was one of my favorite songs, that's the first song I did, <laughs> okay, uh, in uh, in front of a, my my classroom. So it, I sang it. Didn't didn't play guitar at that point, but just kind of sang it. So that was my first uh, entry to public performance. So um, so years later, uh, after my mom, uh, you know, when I became adult, my mom and I had a talk, and you know, we we talked about those years when uh, she was in. In nursing school and how she partied and everything and that was uh, also the year when she was 18 um, uh, when she was 18 she had me and so and I, and I understood the party and and, and uh, you know why you know I came along so um, in 1961 also um, that was a year that my mother met my soon-to-be uh, father and her husband and the transition between living with my grandparents and uh, my mother getting married seems to be, you know, it just seems to escape me. It's kind of a, it's kind of a blur. Um, yeah, the only thing, thing I really can remember was moving from Edenton, uh, North Carolina, to uh, Petersburg, Virginia. And, uh, you know, I was living with my grandparents, and it was a wonderful and nurturing time. Um, then it came the news, my mom and I were moving. <laughs> so. That's it for today, folks, and uh, thank you so much again, as always. And don't forget to like, share, and uh, subscribe to uh, my life as a black rock musician on YouTube and wherever you see it. So, again, have a wonderful day. Have a great weekend, and really love you guys so much for viewing this, and have a great day. Thanks. Uh, my beautiful wife Nikki Coleman in there. Hey guys, help me out! Yay! Happy Friday! Yep, finally got her uh, in the studio here and, and helped me out. This song called uh, "Lounging by a Pool in Madagascar." It's kind of a long title of a song, but you know who cares? Uh, this is kind of a song that's kind of Joni Mitchell inspired, and so uh, we're just gonna get right into it. "Lounging by a Pool in Madagascar." Sounds nice. in Madagascar Why did I have to travel so far not to be myself I guess it was always there I'm changing for your paging Tell myself I'm only staging Dancing with the fools who never really know me So deceiving with his little game of intellectual teasing, he has his way of making women crazy. Going to the camel races, taking me far to exotic places. This isn't where I want to be. This isn't the life for me. I'm running around, 
Craig Coleman, give it up. What hey, a Nikki songwriter. Coleman. Nikki Coleman. Thank you. Hey, <laughs> see you guys. Now we present to you our artist's video spotlight. And this is where the stars come out. We got the Banshees here tonight with their catchy tune, You're Wrong. We also got the great sounds of Shamore performing his hit, Grateful. The awesome Priscilla the Outlaw is in the house with Thank Heaven There's Hell. And last on the list is the revisit of last week's Music Marvel Season 1 competition stream finale. We will be bringing you day one, hosted by St. James, and it all starts in Don't you get me wide open, get me wide open. 
everything's rearranged. You opened up my eyes, yeah. Now I don't see like the same. I was lost within an ocean. I was lost. It was you who broke the chains. And sometimes I can't control it. And I had to call your name. When I was when down, I was down. Can't eat. 
Rich men don't care No compassion for the wailing cry But the Bible says First will be last And the last be lifted high out there this is st james singer songwriter producer ceo of household name entertainment mc and host of the music marvel competition finale i want to thank you so much in advance for your participation those that participated those that voted also want to focus on a little bit about me i'm a singer songwriter producer as i mentioned i've been in the music industry as an independent artist for over 30 years so the moral of my story is you're never too old to pursue your dream and you're never too independent to become major. So focus, keep your head up, and keep grinding. God bless you and good luck with the competition moving forward. Thank you so much. Music Marvel is an innovative approach to this music industry where gifted singers and songwriters from all over the world are welcome. This competition is in search of a true undiscovered Marvel. The definition of a marvel is an individual who possesses a quality of astonishment and phenomena encompassing both the gift of a singer-songwriter and a vocalist with legendary potential. This international springboard into the music and entertainment industry is where gifted independent artists perform original material they have written or co-written on a digital platform where they have the ability to be seen, heard, and become successful. This competition is without question a reflection of the newest digital era. The traditional way of doing advancing music has changed, and today's Music Marvel competition is paving that way for the future of music and the entertainment industry. Stay tuned for more content. Because today is a digital industry. Digital streaming is now the new pulse of the music industry. Thanks to innovative platforms like the Music Marvel competition, talented independent artists can now step out into this new digital world and find success. So keep streaming. Let's get it. This is how it all works, everybody. We ask gifted singers and songwriters from all over the world to upload their original vocal performance video to the Music Marvel app. Instantly, the world began casting their vote to decide who is going to be the next Music Marvel. There were two rounds of competition in season one where fans from over 150 countries came together, interacted, and voted for the most gifted and emerging artists from around the world. Social media fans fell in love with these gifted artists in Music Marvel competition, which became an instant success, resulting in record-setting numbers totaling over 600,000 collective votes in the very first season. Stay tuned. Here are the season one sensations who made it to the Music Marvel International Finale. Ellie Steves, a talented and upcoming rapper from Virginia who won the heart and emotions of social media fans from all over the world. Check out his journey and the video that stole the hearts of fans and crowned him the winner of round one. I can't believe you made this. I feel like I just found this on YouTube. <laughs> Lord, I see. 
depression, it come and go like the week. Got me counting every day like a week, every week like a month. Time pass fast like you're blazing the blunt. Haze in the trunk and I scale in the front. Giselle Momberg from South Africa with her original indie sound won the title and the overall favorite of this entire competition. Check out her amazing journey as she won round two of the Music Marvel competition. <laughs> Your famous bow Let them see, the let it show What's really in your heart tonight So raise your glass and take that smile It's this the life you're dreaming of It's the end of the show Another perfect performance That is all they need Rena Zaveri, a super talented independent pop and R&B artist from India who brought the fiercest competition to season one and is definitely one who could take this finale by storm. Check out her journey and fight to claim her position in the Music Marvel International Finale. John Esco, a true and upcoming singer-songwriter that is the one to watch. His sound and originality are unlike no other, which placed him in the top three for both round one and two of this competition. Check out his amazing journey in both round one and round two, and why he would definitely be the one to watch and could possibly win this whole thing. Stay tuned. Just maybe, baby, I found the treasure of my life. Cause the times you hold me close are the times I feel at home. Never let me go beautifully. Tomorrow, December 5th is the day. The Music Marvel Competition Season 1 finale is kicking off and it's going to be a battle of the best and the most gifted singer-songwriters worldwide. Who will win and be crowned and named the Music Marvel for 2020? This live stream virtual experience will be seen on multiple innovative digital stages where you can watch from the Music Marvel Competition website, YouTube, Facebook, each finalist prepared and will perform new original music and you the fans on social media will decide who is the first music marvel for 2020. Let's talk about voting people. At the end of the live stream finale, social media will begin to vote and decide who will win and be named the winner of the music marvel competition for season one and receive $5,000 a branding and marketing sponsorship, and last but not least, a performance contract in 2021. Bonus voting. Yes, it's back. Remember, it's important to stay tuned on Music Marvel on Instagram and all other platforms during this voting window to make sure you do not miss bonus voting opportunities. Don't miss that. It's definitely a game changer. Remember, tell everyone to download the Music Marvel app and on Apple and Android, where all the voting takes place, you have the control of deciding who the next big international sensation is for 2020. Monday, December the 8th, the outcome. This is the day where the world decides who wins and is crowned as the first 
Music Marvel for 2020. Once again, get ready to dance, jump, shout, post, and share with a continuation of our Music Marvel International Finale Virtual House Party as we find out who wins. Stay tuned. Here is a sneak peek of our finalist live finale performance video. See you tomorrow, everybody. Ellie Stees, a talented and upcoming rapper from Virginia. Cause it's all in my mind. It's all in my Giselle Momberg from South Africa. Rena Zaveri, a super talented independent pop and R&B artist from India. John Esco, a true and upcoming singer-songwriter that is the one to watch. Baby, it's true. I want my love to do right by you. Well, everyone, we have come to the end of the show. I just want to thank you all for tuning in. Please join us again next week for more great artists and brilliant entertainers. I am Jamal Jupiter, and I will see you soon.